Coog and Cassius, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm quite worried you've lost your phone. Yeah, I think they just told me my brother's got it, so it's all right. He's all right? Yeah, yeah I don't need it. Because we can go on a phone hunt, we'll film it, nah, see you panicking. We know, we know he's got it, we know yeah? he's got it. I, I don't really like to be on my phone around fight time because the only thing that matters is real life, not social media and all that stuff. Very true, very true. Um, right, you've continued your, uh, is it a streak? Uh, you, can, you know, it's just another fight, so... First round again? First round stoppage, yeah. Four first round wins you <laughs> yeah, now yeah, on yeah. the spin, so yeah. uh, you're doing what's been, I'm not saying expected of you, but mm. uh, you're doing your thing. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not boxing world beaters, so this is what I should be doing to them. Respect to all of them, because they stepped up and gave it a goal, but I'm not stupid. I boxed at a high level as an amateur, so I know how good some boxers can be, and that's what I'm working towards, you know. Um, I've got a lot of improvement to do, but at the same time, I've got a lot to work with. Mm, absolutely. So, I mean, experience-wise, you've just done lit literally... I don't even think you've done a round of boxing yet, have yeah, you? Yeah, not a full round, but full so round. far, I mean, like, in four fights, maybe like, six minutes of boxing or something like that. Mm. But, you know, it's not just the fights itself, it's the training camp, so on and so forth. Like, um, so I'm learning as I'm going along. I'm not really fussed. Right now, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm doing it. Mm. Talk to me about the finish, the actual... Uh, finish uh, um, of Russ Central. I can talk to you from the change room. So I'm in the change room. I finished my warm up. They said, Lawrence, you're on in six minutes. I said, Cool. So mentally, I'm ready for six minutes. I've got on my um, robe. Two minutes, one minute, or walking out. I said, Call to the security guard at the door. Spotted him. Eddie Han comes and meets us on our way. I said, Hi, Eddie. Hi, Lawrence. Focus. I'm walking. Russ Central walks ahead. I see him working a couple of moves before the, the, um, before the ring walk. This is my turn. I was wondering, are they going to play the Penny Boy song or not? Then they started playing. I said, cool, let's wait a little bit. Let's, you know, get used to the atmosphere. How nervous are you? How are you feeling within yourself? I felt a little bit nervous, but not too much. And then I started walking. I'm walking. There's you about, can actually walk if you want. Yeah, no, there's about 10 people on my right side screaming, Lawrence, we love you, Hackney. I remember spotting them. So then on the other side, Source, etc., etc. Spotting. And then um, it's the zone, and I'm like, all right, cool, Lawrence. Remember, it could all be over here. Focus, get the job done. I climb in. I got. I was thinking, do I go over the top rope or do I go over the one underneath? I pushed down on it. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was too bit too high for me to go over. So I went in the second rope. I get in. I said, okay, this is which one's my corner? That one over there. So I walk over to my corner. I'm relaxing. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying not to get too over with the crowd. There's a lot of talk um, happening before the fight. So there's a lot of distractions that could have popped into my head. But I said, you know what, Lawrence, you're here to do the job. I said, cool. I listened to Brian. Brian said to me beforehand, yeah, just um, don't start too fast this one. Just go out there and box. So that's the last thing that was in my mind. Started, um, just wanted to see how fast he was, but he, he wasn't really throwing the shot straight away. So I started prepping the jab. I hear people screaming outside. And then um, what I realized, every time I was punching him to the head, he would just cover up like that. So I decided to show a bit of boxing, learn as the fight's going on, and I started mixing up to the body. He went down from the first, I threw a straight right hand. I need to watch it back, but I remember throwing a straight right hand, hit him in the stomach, and I said, that's, I think that's the key. And I just kept on exploiting it. And the rest is history. The rest is history, two minutes, 10 seconds. But now I know in September, there's gonna be another step up, another hard fight, can I keep it going? Can't I? Can I take a shot? Can't I? Does my power carry up as we carry up the levels? These are all questions I need to find out myself, and we'll find out. Did you get a chance to watch uh, Chamberlain and Crawford? Chamberlain. Um, you know, I mean, I was watching it on Facebook Live, Sky Sports Facebook, and I was really enjoying it. He did a great job. I was liking it a lot as he was doing his thing. Um, so I'm really proud of him. Happy that he got the win. Um, he was boxing someone who had five fights, won two, lost two, drawn one, in his second or third year. So it's really good, really good, really good step up for him. And, um, you know, but I'm on my own journey, in my own lane. Um, and the main thing is I won. I won by first round knockout, and I'm ready to keep going. What about Wadi Camacho? Is that mm. he was here tonight? Was that the yeah, one? Yeah, I mean, is that a possible opponent for you. Hundred percent. I can see him sniffing around at the moment. At the end of the day, I'm an Olympian, and in the cruiserweight division, it's, 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 everyone wants to be the guy that beats Lance or Coley, the Olympian. So you know, they're all going to be sniffing around because um, there's a little bit of profile and a little bit of attention on me. Um, and they can all get it because it's one thing to watch me from outside. 
and watch me on the pads and watch me this and get caught up in the hype of my power or the hype of my vulnerability. It's another thing to be in the ring with me when I'm throwing the punches and it's another thing. That's why I never get excited. So when I watch people like Wadi or people, whoever, I don't get excited watching them from outside looking at their vulnerabilities because it's different when you get in there. Um, so I'm just excited. All these, everyone can get it, do you know what I mean? So it's just about biding your time. Okay, well listen, Lawrence O'Coley, thank you very much for the title TV. Congratulations. Thank you for me. Uh, yeah. Another successful night for you, yeah. early night for you. So, mm -hmm. hey, back in the gym Wednesday, so you know. Yeah? I'm ready to go. Okay. Yes. Did the whole interview, didn't even mention the sauce once. Ah! Uh, don't, ah! don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> didn't mention what? it once. I don't need to mention it. Oh. It gets mentioned every time I speak. Oh, we'll just, I we'll spill just, it. We'll just I get, spill get, it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, all right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs>